Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I again have been trying to film and unfortunately the sun in the other room is just terrible so I wanted to do and I'm halfway through my face you'll understand in a minute. Um, I wanted to do an inspired orange is the new black orange black um, makeup get ready with me tutorial type thing based on Alex Voss who is or Voss or Voss or whatever um, she is one of the characters so I really wanted to do that and you know take you through what I would do kind of it's inspired by her it's not obviously I don't look like her um, so yeah I started off with the Be Sweet Popping Candy on, on top of my um, primer and underneath my serum at no, this is the serum and underneath my foundation. I'm literally in the middle of doing my foundation. So um, I put on um, some concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me One under my eyes, and I'm currently in the middle of doing my foundation, which is rather frustrating. So that is foundation done. I was in the middle of doing it, so you can understand why I'm slightly frustrated. I used the Lasting Finish foundation and I'm going to use a concealer, the Lasting Finish one, again. I've heard really mixed reviews. I say I've heard mixed reviews, not anybody likes this, but I really like it. I don't feel like it creases, it is hard and you do have to stick your finger in it, but I like it for under my eyes. I feel like it's a lovely consistency. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it, but... I've heard other people say they don't, so, you know, everybody has different tastes, don't they? Um, I really don't like the um, L'Oreal Infallible thing, but that seems to be going down well with everybody else. So, yeah, I'm just putting concealer under my eyes. The reason I'm trying to get my face as pale as possible, which you might have noticed, is because she's very, very pale, but she's almost like dewy. She, but she's also got a bit of a glow, so um, I'm going to try and recreate that a little bit um i'm now going to pop on my freedom warm lights uh it's like a trio i'm actually going to swirl my brush around the whole thing and i'm going to use that all over my face just to give myself a bit of a oh i think it's going to be just a bit too much i'm just going to use that around the edges of my face actually rather than all the way around give my face a bit of structure better and then because I obviously haven't done under my eyes I'm going to set my concealer with this um, LA Pro powder HD high definition setting powder I really like this I've heard a lot of people say they don't like it again I, I do it's um, probably very similar to a lot of other finely milled setting powders as well can you see that it's like smoke coming out because it's so finely milled and I'm going to use my um, face brush from Makeup Revolution and put that all over my face. What I love about this is it really makes your makeup stay set and it makes your face really soft. I really like it. So that is that. I say that a lot actually when it comes to sort of makeup um, tutorials are they? And then I'm going to use a contouring kit, which is the Master Sculpt by Maybelline. This is the medium to dark. And I'm going to use this with the brush that they provided, which is this little flat one here. And I actually really like this. Uh, I'm just going to use the contour and highlight as they were intended. Bring it up to my temples a bit. Give myself the appearance of cheekbones that aren't there. This is actually a really lovely matte bronzer. And although I would have normally gone for the light, because I'm really fair, I love the dark one. I think it's really good. I've heard really good reviews about this. So, just... Now, I am no pro at contouring, as you can see. I'm not very good at all. But we are doing what we can with what we know. That's how I kind of 
aim to do things. So the brush is actually quite clean, so I'm going to use the highlighter and just pop that on the tops here. I like this highlighter because it's not too bright. And that's that. And then I'm going to use my Radiant Lights in Exhale, which, let me just show you, that is how much I have left. I've really damaged this. <laughs> I've used so much of it and I'm so pleased because it was so big I never thought I'd ever get through it. I'm just using that to go over my face. You'll notice there's a lot of powder products. I'll just give myself a bit of glow. And then finally, <laughs> you lot are going to think I'm mad, I reckon. I'm going to use this, which is the Freedom Pro Glow in Raw. Um, I'm going to take a big brush. It is so dark, but once it goes on, it's not too bad. So I'm going to use that all over the face. Give myself a bit of a bronzing. There we go this big real techniques brush so that is the base done and now I'm going to use I keep shutting this but I need it <laughs> I'm going to put on my paint pot by Mac in painterly and I use a sponge applicator to apply these because I find them really a lot easier than my finger um, painterly is basically the same colour as my skin so I'm just going to put that on take it all the way up to my brow bone it's a really good base for eyeshadows I really like it, it sort of evens out everything on my eyes especially because I've got really dark lids and then I'm going to take some eyeshadow. I've just realised I haven't bought an eyeshadow brush, so I'm going to have to use a, either use this sponge or use my fingers. Oh, that's really frustrating. Oh, don't worry, I can pause this. Yeah, for this look, actually, I only need this brush because I'm going to take my Tarte palette, and they're all um, matte shades in here, and I'm just going to lightly apply those and just do a bit of contouring rather than actual eyeshadow. These are the creamiest, most pigmented eyeshadows I've ever used. They're so beautiful. Um, and I, I just love them. I'm just going to take the um, lighter brown shade into my crease slightly just to give my sockets that look of depth. And then use the slightly darker cream shade on the lid because I don't need to use anything else really this isn't that sort of look <laughs> so just using that darker cream shade on the lid just give myself the appearance of having a brow bone because I don't have one and blend it out slightly same on this side and then I can, right, fantastic. So that's the eyes done. Yes, they look very plain, and that's because the main part of Alex Vorse's look is her cat flick on her eyes. So I'm going to attempt to do a cat flick on my eyes for you guys, which is actually quite funny because if you know me, I am not very good at it. So, using my PS Love one eyeliner, and I'm going to attempt this for you. Okay. So far, we are on the way. So, I've actually brought another eyeliner with me just so that I can maybe meet them up. So, <laughs> This is, this is tense. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Oh, that could have been dangerous. There's like a, 
one of the hairs is sticking out can you see just at the bottom oh dear in fact what i might do i've got an idea i might do the bottom bit with this liquid eyeliner and then the rest of the felt tip because i find it really easy to put it on this way with one of these here but not with the felt tip but i can do the flick with the felt tip so just get this on yeah that little hair that's sticking up is quite frustrating because it's causing an uneven line okay so that's the two done and now the flick joy <laughs> has anybody else struggled with the flick like I do it's because I can't see I think right so I'm gonna put a line there and then join it up to my eyeliner like so that is one mega flick there we go now this eye this is the tester goes up like this and then join to the eyeliner oh we may have a winner we may may have a winner that's pretty even so that is I'm I'm really shocked because I can't do anything like that and finally she wears no lipstick at all just kind of her lips but better so I'm going to pop some of this on. As a lip balm. And that is... Oh, wait. No, it isn't. I've still got mascara to put on. I forgot about mascara. I was so happy with that flick. That's why. That is the most incredible flick that I've ever done. This is the PS Love by Primark. Um, mascara and it is just the most incredible mascara and I'm gutted that it's running out I'm gonna buy some more on Sunday because I'm going to uh, I've got it all over the tops of my eyelids oh no oh well nobody can really see it let's, let's be honest I'll be wearing glasses so it doesn't matter yeah it's running out already I can't believe it it's my favourite. Two pounds it costs. Two whole pounds. There's nothing, is it? I could buy ten of them and it'd still be cheaper than my high-end mascara. Okay. Put that on the bottom. And do you know what else I've forgotten to do? My eyebrows. So let's do some of that as well. I don't do eyebrows because I've got quite thick eyebrows, but I'm going to do it a tiny bit. Oh dear, here we go. Just going to lightly put some colour in it so they look a bit more Alex Volsey. I'm using a matte shadow to darken them up just deepen them up slightly it's slightly red I have noticed but I'm sure they don't look too bad oh I'm missing a product here we go I'm going to use the brow artist plumper by L'Oreal I've got this in a beauty box and it is incredible and I'm just gonna plump them up slightly Keep them in place. My brows are actually good at the minute. Yeah, I'm loving that. Right, so, where are my glasses? There you have it. The Alex Voss, well, filthy glasses, Alex Voss. Orange is the new black look. Let me clean them. Every single time I do a tutorial, you will see that I'm not very good at having clean glasses. There we go. Flick and all. Orange is the New Black is on TV today. So, if, oh well, Netflix. If you are a fan, 
give me a thumbs up because I certainly will be watching. I'll show you the flick again. Let's just take a look at that. Oh, how exciting. Excellent. So thank you very much for watching and I do look forward to seeing you in my next video.